All right, so you have decided to create an online business, but you're working a full-time job. How do you do it? What do you need to consider? What's the easiest way of getting this done? I'm gonna show you right now. Hey everyone, I'm Mecca here and I do three things on this channel. I show you how to increase your income so you can take back your freedom, so you can design your ultimate lifestyle. I'm doing me so you can do you. I've been completely 100% free from a regular nine to five slavery job for the last 12 months. Actually, I think in a few weeks it'll be officially 12 months, but hey, let's just call it what it is, all right? And um, I've definitely learned a lot of things of what it takes. Um, you know, I'm married, got a, I got a, uh, she's gonna be three in a little bit. So, you know, I'm doing the, juggling the whole family thing and everything. So in this video, I'm not gonna talk about the types of different online businesses, because honestly, you've probably been looking around and there's other videos that kind of break down what's easier, what's the best one to start with. I've done some other videos like that, so you can check out my channel for those. But I wanna give you some things to keep in mind that struggles and sacrifices you're gonna have to make in order to free yourself from the nine to five job. So let's talk about why you wanna do this. Um, me, it was freedom. I didn't like the job I was doing and I knew it was gonna go nowhere, but um, we had just moved down to Mexico from Canada um, because my wife's from here and wanted to have the baby down here. So I knew I had to find a way to get paid. And uh, I turned to online. Zero experience with the whole online thing when I first started. So tons of YouTube research and everything. But here's what I want you to keep in mind. The most important resource you have right now, it's your job. Do not, under any circumstance, leave that yet. Because that job is giving you one thing, income. And you need income to help fuel your online business. That's exactly what I had to keep telling myself months month after month after month after month. Keep your job, hang on to it because you need that income so you can, I did the kind of publishing thing, so I could use that income so I could buy more books to put online to create that income. But I had to keep fueling my online business using my regular nine to five job income. And it got to a point where I was able to scale up my online business to replace the nine to five job and uh, I didn't look back since. Some sacrifices and some things to keep in mind. Um, let's talk about why you're doing this. For me, it was complete and total freedom. I just wanted freedom. I wanted to be able to come and go as I please. Uh, I didn't wanna have to have a boss anymore. I wanted to be, um, I didn't wanna be location dependent, meaning I wanted to be able to, uh, you know, we wanna move over to Italy for spend, you know, three to six months, um, traveling Italy, living over there, experiencing that lifestyle. Um, so we, we, we needed to be able to create something that we could literally just take my computer, plug it into Wi-Fi, and, and work and create money. And that's what we have now. Um, it took a while to build it, but we, we have that now. Uh, my wife is literally weeks away. She's, we're having another baby, so she's, I think, going to go on mat leave like in the next two to three weeks. Uh, and then we're gonna be 100% free from any jobs. We'll never have to go back ever again. And that is the exciting and freeing part. I, it, it's just awesome. I made a ton of sacrifices though along the way. And these are the things you wanna keep in mind. Depending on how motivated and driven you are, uh, understand this, it's gonna take longer than you think and it will be harder than you think and you will face more challenges than you think. That's just a fact of business and, and life really. You know, however easy you think it's gonna be, it's gonna be a lot harder than that. However hard you think it's gonna be, it's gonna be harder than that. Um, I faced challenges, setbacks and this and that that I never could have seen coming. Um, but that's like most things that you start off with for the first time, right? Anything new is always gonna be a little bit harder and a little bit more challenging than you first, you first imagine it. So just accept that now. So when you do face those challenges, you can be like, oh man, totally new. This is one of those big challenges. And that was one of the best things my mentor told me. 
when I started another online business, I you know, had a mentor, uh, somebody who was steps ahead of me that I was, you know, coaching with every month. And he, one, one of the first things he told me on our first call, never forget it was, you're going to face challenges and setbacks that you're not going to see coming that you think are going to be too big to overcome, but you'll overcome them. You just have to fight through them. And so when we, when I faced that first big one, he's like, this is just one of them. And when he told me that I was like, Oh, right. He warned me about this. Now it's happening. Okay. Let's just get through it rather than just not understanding that those things are coming. They come and you know, some people just quit and give up. So understand that your weekends and your free time, give it up. I literally had, I took one day off a month to spend with the family. Uh, and that was it while I was building the online business, right? Cause I worked Monday to Friday, nine to five. I had about two hours until, uh, you know, on Monday to Friday until the baby and my wife came home that I could, you know, work on, work on the online business. And then it was the weekends. My weekends were the most precious time of the week for me because I didn't have to work nine to five. I could work on the online business as much as I possibly could. And so that's exactly what I did. You know, I would go to a coffee shop and literally spend eight hours at a Starbucks there. I did that multiple times. Uh, go to a library, go to a university, go to wherever you can spend time and focus on your business. Um, that was the rule of thumb for me. That was what my weekends were. Um, you know, I s sat down, explained to the wife, you know, here's where I, where I want to get the family, but this is what is going to happen. No more weekends. Don't invite me to any family events. Don't invite me. Don't say we're going to go to the park. I'll ha I'll take one day off a week, a month. And that will be the day I won't work. Um, you know, we can go to the park. We can do this. I was like, that's just, I'm just, I'm sick of this job. We have to, we have to make a drastic change to get to where we want to be. And, you know, she wasn't to so supportive, but I was like, it has to happen because I don't like the life we're living. I want more. We deserve more. You deserve better. Let's get this done. This is the sacrifice we're going to have to make. I miss family barbecues, family events. Uh, I miss so much. I sacrifice so much, but now guess what I can do? Any time of the day, I can get up, leave, take the family out. Any time of the day. Don't have to ask for anything. I don't have to worry about money. I have complete and total freedom to do that. But I made the immense sacrifices going through this journey first. So just understand that late nights, so, so many nights I'd, you know, the little, she was probably about one, two ish at the time, her daughter. And, you know, we'd have to pretend, I'd have to pretend I was going to bed to get her to sleep right? Nine, 10 o'clock, but then I'd sneak out of bed, get up and I'd work for three more hours and then get up early. And then, you know, I try to work for an hour, 40 minutes, whatever it could before I had to start my actual job. Late nights and early mornings, you're going to get used to them because they're necessary to break the, the chains of slavery. So you can have your freedom back late nights and early mornings. Right. It's just one of those things you're, you're going to have to put in, in order to get this done. And if you're thinking, oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Well, obviously you just, you're, you're happy working the nine to five because in order to build a proper sustainable online business, it's going to require more sacrifice than you can possibly imagine. Let's talk money. We cut back on any luxury, any luxury. Like, I mean, like we, we, our grocery list went from here down to here. And that extra little bit was like what we put into the online business. So I could, I was in the publishing business, Kindle, so we could, you know, get more books up. We cut back on a lot. We stopped buying meat and only bought tuna. It was like tuna, everything, tuna, tuna cakes, tuna sandwiches, tuna salads, tuna freaking everything. If, if we could make tuna pancakes, we would make tuna pancakes because it was just dirt cheap because it comes in a can. And that meant we didn't have to buy chicken or, 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 or beef. It was just a cheaper option. And that extra little money we were able to save, boom, right into the online business to help build that because that was what was going to give us our freedom. 
that was the most important thing that we had going was fueling that online business. So you have to make those sacrifices in order to get the freedom and, and to build the lifestyle that you want. Um, you know, when I look back at it, it's really those things were the, uh, the cornerstone of exactly what shaped the business that we have now. Um, but like I said, now we have the complete and total of freedom. Uh, we, last year we, we, we were taped, take an entire month off, month off, didn't work at all that month in August. And that was actually our best, most profitable month. Um, you know, up until that point was the month that I took completely off from the business. That was massive to be able to see that, you know, months of hard work, the reward, I guess, you know, was taking a month off and having it be our most profitable month. So, um, Hopefully this is kind of giving you some thought, some, some things to consider. Um, if you're going down this route, it's it, like I said, it's one of the most rewarding and, um, you know, it just, it'll open your eyes. Like you have no idea building a online business was by far the best thing that I could have done for myself and my family 100% because I know I'm able to set them up and give them exactly what they need. So I'm a Mecca. Give me a comment down below if you have any questions, if you're struggling to get started, whatever the case is. Ton of free resources on my channel, so uh, you know, browse through it. If you really like this stuff, hey, smash that subscribe button. And uh, can't wait to connect with you. Facebook, Instagram, I'm all over the place. All right, until next time everyone, we'll speak to you all soon. Take care.